Hello everyone, my name is Jordan, also known as X-3. So for Info Friday, I want to dive into some few things, and I want to give you a little bit of a history lesson. We're going to dive into four deliciously good things today, and then I'll see you guys tomorrow for a special Saturday. So the first thing I want to start off with is Gold Babies has released a new sample pack from uh, their library to Ableton. It's actually a very specifically designed pack that goes into certain genres that it's specifically designed for. So it goes into genres such as dubstep, hip hop, drum and bass, grime, dancehall, electro, and some other ones. There's also over 3,000 drum samples with chords and mini clips. But this keeps going. Gold Babies is a very old, like, legendary sample pack group. So when I saw they released something new, I flipped out. Because this is what, like, DJ Fresh and Mixmaster Mike and uh, old Crystal Method samples come from Gold Baby. And so when they release something new, it's like, wow. When you take a listen to this stuff, it's like super, super crazy. It's very clean. A lot of their samples are very clean or just dirty enough to give you that nice warm feeling that you would get when you turned up tubes a lot to the nice rich warmth. So Gold Baby has a new sample pack and that's, that's just flippin' sweet. The second thing we're going to go into is Complete Control. Now they released something new called the Control S series and they have included like 10, 10 instruments and effects. Like they have Massive, Reactor Prism, Monarch. They go into like the Grand Piano and the Drum Lab and Retro Machines. But there's 10 of these different effects and synths. So you're gonna get your money's worth when you pick out one of these uh, keyboards. So, it's all very compact and very nice, so you don't have to scroll through a lot of things. You can just get it and dive in. The third thing we're going to go into, and this is going to take up probably the most time, is Pre PreSonus has released Studio One version 3. Now in version 3, there's all types of new instruments, like the Mai Tai. We'll scroll down there, past all this. The Mai Tai is a polyphonic analog modeling synth that's been modeled after the Moog and I think the Odyssey when it first came out. So this is very, very powerful. Also, the other instrument that comes with Studio One is the Presence XT Sampler. This comes with over 14 gigabytes, over 14 gigabytes of sounds. That's incredible. That's such a huge pack. But other than that, get this. Along with a lot of these other features, it can also read contact, giga, and sound font files without destructing them or converting them. They can be on the desk themselves. Just without conversion, it can read, the, read it just as is. That's pretty that opens up a whole new world of sample ideas along with this they also added uh, let me see if i can scroll down here they've also added multi-touch which is pretty pretty impressive there's also ipad features like new studio one for ipad that's coming soon that's also gonna have automation curves mixer improvements so that way when you click and drag on a channel mixer, it's not gonna it's not gonna boost the channel mixer by like 10 decibels. It's gonna actually grab it and you can pull it down and raise and lower the volume. It's very specific and it's been updated. So that's pretty that's pretty cool. The final thing that we're going to touch on is that Swamp Tiger from Dillum has been released. It's on B port. That was released earlier this month, but they've also released from Audiophile, Bubblegum. Now this Trouble Bubble, this sound, this guy has a very like rich 
fast-paced sound. I highly recommend that you check him out because he is sweet. I just love his style. But if you don't like him, that's fine with me too. Anyways, so I'll check you guys out later tomorrow for a special Saturday. And then, yeah, probably some more stuff. So, yep, see you guys later. Have a good one and peace. Hey everyone, uh, so I wanted to say thanks for joining me on Info Friday. Some of these videos are coming out later than expected, mainly due to just rendering issues. Um, so the other thing I want to talk about is that uh, starting next week, I might be able to get these videos out sooner simply because uh, next week I start school for the summer. So other than that, I have a lot of more plans for you guys. So that way you guys are going to constantly maintain and receive content every single day. Other than that, I want to say thanks for joining me on Info Friday. And as always, I keep you up to date as much as possible. If you don't know, um, I usually post a lot on Tumblr, if not Twitter. Twitter is usually my second in command, so uh, Tumblr I usually post a lot. So like sneak peeks of what I'm doing next or what's to come of like the new album artwork and things like that. I'm also going to be posting some few tracks coming up in June for the new EP. It's going to be three tracks and I'm going to be singing. And so this singing is different. It's more like just naming things. It's different. And yeah, I just wanted to say uh, thanks for joining me. And I hope you guys have a good one. Peace.